Kane Schwartz, and we see that storm getting closer on the radar there, Glenn. Yeah, the rain is uh, getting very close, and the snow's not that far behind. This uh, system can definitely fool you if you get up early, look out the window, is raining or snow is melting, you think it's not going to be that much. Things are going to change rapidly tomorrow morning. Take a look at this area of snow. Also look at the back edge. It has really traveled far to the east in just three hours. That means that system is racing eastward. It's going to start fast, but it's also going to end fast. This is not going to be an all day storm. But between 5 and 9 a.m., it's going to be snowing hard in at least parts of the area, up to 2 to 3 inches per hour with possible thunder snow and low visibility and that snow sticking. By 2 a.m., we're already starting to see a little bit of snow, especially in Berks County, Lehigh Valley. 4 a.m., it's getting closer to Philadelphia and Trenton. By 5.30, 6 o'clock, it's through the Philadelphia area. And by 7, it's all the way down to Vineland and Dover and almost to Atlantic City. So the entire area is going to be seeing some snow, but look at it ending from the west. This is a very small fast moving storm, but it's a powerful one. It's got a lot of motion that will bring the cold air down and change rain to snow like that. And the temperature will go down accordingly. And in the afternoon, things will improve dramatically as the sun comes out and the snow starts melting and the roads get better. It won't be an all day thing. Now, 5 a.m question is going to be how much is rain or snow in the Philadelphia area because by seven to nine it's definitely going to be snowing. it's going to be snowing hard and look how quickly it gets lighter and the conditions improve. Once again, the highest amounts of snow to the north and west. Six to ten inches Allentown, Kutztown, Redding, Pottstown, Franconia. In the middle area here, four to eight inches, Abington, Radnor, Brookhaven, Westchester, down through much of Chester County, Edgewater Park, Mount Laurel, Philadelphia itself in the four to eight inch category. Of course, the farther north you are, the more snow is going to fall. Pemberton, Mount Laurel, also four to eight, as well as Tom's River and LBI. Farther to the south, more rain is mixed in. It's a little warmer, more snow melts, so it's two to four inches. Hamilton, Vineland, Bridgeton, Laurel Lake, Middletown, Smyrna, Salem in New Jersey, and farther to the south, just a coating to two inches. Most of it melts because the temperature stays above the freezing mark. And it's still incredibly warm. But once snow starts falling heavily, the snow's falling on top of other snowflakes, not on the warm road. So yes, it can stick. And yes, it's going to start feel like winter again. By 8 a.m., it's feeling like it's in the teens. And by tomorrow night, feeling like the single digits. So anything that melts, all the slush refreezes. All right.